Hi guys, welcome back to Irony Completed. I'm at such a fucking angle. What the fuck, man? I honestly can't tell if that's better or worse. Oh, I hate this background. I really need to figure out a better background for my videos, but I haven't had a chance to figure it out yet. I've been home for like two days and I'm really, really sick and everything is going wrong and I'm really tired. <sighs> but I did see the nice guys in the cinema today and it was goddamn good. I fucking love Ryan Gosling. He's amazing in everything. This is completely unrelated to what this video is about. Shut up a bit. So today's video is finally going to be my book club for the month of May. So this video will be my May wrap up of the books that I read and also my June TBR list. And if you do not know what TBR stands for, it stands for to be read. So this will be my wrap up of all the books that I read in May and all the books that I plan on reading in June, hopefully if I actually get around to reading them, which I will because now the exams are over, I'm going to try really hard, I promise. So starting off with the books that I did read in May, I only read well, like two and a half, I'd say, but I'll explain. I'm going to go in the order that I read them. The first one is Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five. I finally finished this. I started reading this before exams, which was like the beginning of May, end of April time, and I finally finished reading it after exams were finished. I, I read the second half of it in like a day, so I'm pretty proud of that. This book is about a prisoner of war from World War II who's kept in Dresden and he's in Dresden during the bombings, but he also gets kidnapped by aliens and kept in a human zoo and can time travel without wanting to. It's really strange, it's very postmodern. You really have to read it for me to explain it because I find it very, very hard to explain. The whole point is that you question all the way through, is he just crazy or can he actually time travel? Who fucking knows? It's a really, really interesting book though. Um, Somebody got a biographical, of course, because Kurt Vonnegut was a prisoner of war in World War II in Dresden, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I really, really enjoyed this book. I would definitely recommend it if you're into this kind of thing. If you are into other postmodern authors, really kind of interesting plot lines where you don't 100% know what's going on all the time, I would 100% recommend this. I really, really enjoyed it. I've had this book since like November last year and I've been meaning to get around to it, so I'm really happy that I finally did. By the way, if I sound really bunged up, it's because I am. I have the worst block sinuses right now. I can't bend down without like dying on the inside. And not only that, but my sinuses are so blocked that I can't fully hear myself, like my ears are blocked, so I can't fully hear what I'm saying and if I'm talking really quiet or really loud I'm really sorry, it's because I, I can't control my volume at all right now because I don't know how loud I'm talking and this hair's really annoying me. The second book that I read in May was The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey and if you didn't know this is a... a and if you didn't know, this is the sequel to The Fifth Wave, also by Rick Yancey, which was made into a movie with Chloe Grace Moretz. It was a really, really good book. The movie was pretty okay as well. Not the worst. Not the worst adaptation I've ever seen. The Fifth Wave was one of my favourite books around Christmas time, and I did enjoy the movie. Like I said, not the worst adaptation I've ever seen. So I decided to pick up the sequel. I read this in like two days. I was really into it, it was a real page turner for me, um, like I said, because I liked The Fifth Wave so much I found this really really interesting as a sequel, and I liked the fact that it had even more perspectives, because The Fifth Wave has multiple perspectives, like two or three I think, but this has a lot of different perspectives which I really enjoyed, and I know that they just launched the third book in this series, which I haven't picked up yet, but I really need to, because I really want to read it, I really want to know what happens, it ends on such a cliffhanger, well not a cliffhanger even, but like, it just ends and you don't know anything, basically, like you if you haven't read the Fifth Wave series and you're into post-apocalyptic young adult fiction, it's a fantastic series. I like the Fifth Wave series better than the Hunger Games and the Divergent series. And that's saying a lot because I love the Divergent series a lot. I don't know if this counts really, but um, <laughs> I'm going to put this in here. This is Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. Well, technically it's like Leaves of Grass plus some of his other writings and it contains a few of the different editions of Leaves of Grass because Walt Whitman was this like massive self-editor. I didn't read all of this but I read a fuck ton of it um, because I was taking part in Walt Whitman Week which I talked about briefly in my favourites video. Basically what Walt Whitman Week was a celebration of the life and works of the great American poet and it was his birthday last Tuesday, not the Tuesday just gone, the Tuesday before. So it was the first week that ever took place in England and it was at my university and it was free to take part in so we did a few trips and we learned about Walt Whitman and there was loads of visiting academics including Ed Folsom who is basically like the leading academic when it comes to Walt Whitman studies so it was a really great opportunity academically wise and I basically read most of this, not all of it but like I read a lot of it and I'm counting it, I don't care what you say. 
So I read um, some Leaves of Grass by Walt, Walt Whitman. Fuck me, I can't say it because my nose is so blocked up. Now I'm going to move on to the books that I am planning on reading in June, so my June TBR list. Starting off with something that I've already started reading but I just put it on the back burner because I was packing and moving and I was really busy last week. This is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I've been planning on reading this for a really long time. Again, it's a book that I've had in my collection for quite a while and I've just not gotten around to reading for some reason. As you can probably see, I've read about half of this already and I plan on finishing it this month because I've not got much left to read and I really like the movie Stardust. This is quite different from the movie though. It's a little bit darker, I would say, but I'm very, very interested and it's a really intriguing book and I'm really enjoying reading it so I definitely want to finish this this month. I need to blow my nose, please excuse me. In case you were interested I'm also... I'm also not wearing any trousers right now because I'm a lazy human being and I'm really hot as well. Uh, the second book I am planning on reading is something that my mum recommended me to read. She said that she read it for the first time when she was around my age and my dad gifted her a few of these books way back before I was born, back when they were together and stuff. This is by Martin Miller and it's called Milk, Sulfate and Albi Starvation. Albi? Albi? I have no idea how you pronounce that word. Apparently this is the first book in a series and he also wrote some standalones but I don't really know what this is about at all actually because the back is not giving me much but I'm really interested in reading it because the reviews in the back are really interesting sounding. So I don't really... Oh, it says it's a cross between Della Corte and Vonnegut. So, kind of postmodern, I'm assuming? Albie is the name of the character, apparently. Well, I want to read it because my mum said that I would enjoy it. And I trust her, I think. The last book book that I want to read is No Country for All Men by Cormac McCarthy because I've seen the film quite a few times and I really like the Coen Brothers film. No Country for Old Men, so I feel like I should read the book that it was based on. That's been happening to me a lot lately. I, I watch films of things and then I don't realise that they're based on books and then I find out and I want to read the book. So I'm definitely wanting to give this a read. If you guys have read this, then please let me know. I've heard good things about Cormac McCarthy's writing, but I've never actually read anything by him before. Like I said, I really enjoyed the film version of this, um, so I'm really interested in watching the... watching? in reading the book version of it. And lastly is a comic book and this is one that my dad bought me at Christmas time and <coughs> if you watch my book videos around December, January time you would have seen me mention that my dad bought me three comic books for my birthday and this is the only one that I haven't read yet and it's Marbles, Mania, Depression, Michelangelo and Me, a graphic memoir by Ellen Forney. So it sounds really interesting, it's, it's about a woman who has you know, bipolar disorder and doesn't want to take medication because it will disturb her art or something. I don't really know, but I'm very interested in reading it. I flicked through it um, and it seems really interesting. And the fact that my dad bought me it means it must be good. So I'm really excited to read this. I haven't read comic books in a really long time and that makes me so sad. So I'm really excited to dive into something that I've been meaning to read for a really long time. And I usually read comic books really quickly, so that's always handy. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to let me know down in the comments the books that you really liked in May or the books that you are planning on reading in June, then please do, because I love hearing from you guys what you guys are enjoying, any recommendations you might have for me and all that kind of thing. Have any of you read the final book in the Fifth Wave series yet? If you have, is it good? Should I read it? Please let me know. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!